Yeah. You're feeling the chilled vibes. Yes, yes, yes. Calm, I know. Calm, That's what calm. we do on the show all the time. My last <laughs> song was uh, released June 20th. Uh, May, the May, May 20th, sorry, actually. May 20th, yeah. yeah. This is your very first song for the year. Yeah, first release. Yeah, wow. So congratulations, man. Thank you so much. But I'm loving, you know, the chill, but why Ballon Dior? You know, there's a... Yeah. I think it's making waves now on uh, social media and streaming platforms. But, yeah. you know, there's also another song, mm, Ballon Dior. No, Whiskey and Bono. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, Ballon Dior is... Was that Dior intentional? Is, no, I wouldn't say it was intentional, actually. thing is, Ballon Dior is from the football world, mm -hmm. basically. It's like an award they give to the best football player of of the year or whatever because i don't watch football but i know i know about the awards like their biggest one mm. so but for me yeah ballon, my own ballon is kind of different because yeah, yeah, i was about to ask if you're supporting uh, <laughs> or Messi, uh, to know which one <laughs> my ballon is just like it's just like a cruise like it's when you're in trance it's, okay. it's a slang on the street mm. Mm, but it's a coded one this <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like when you're in trance, when you're like dizzy, when you're not seeing things the way things when are. You when you don't you're take high, too much, uh, you understand. When you don't mm. take balloon. Mm, balloon. Balloon. Oh, that's another. <laughs> okay, I, I'm learning. I'm learning. All right, but your your journey as an artist has been yeah. impressive. You've been doing doing a lot of. Um, Records, even collaborations with superstars like Shake, a couple of them. Yeah. And was this always the plan for you in music? Or was there a different route you really wanted to take and just make, make a name for yourself before doing collaborations and stuff like that? No, basically, I've always loved music since I was young. So even when I was in school, then I've lucky, I've always lucky been telling my parents that this certificate, I'm not sure me I'll use it though. Mm. You understand? So, so I've why always, did you read? I actually read Petroleum Oil and Gas. Ah. Money did, did, yeah. Do you know how much is in Petroleum Oil and Gas? Do you know how much is in music? See, the thing is, it's not actually about the money for me. It's about my passion, basically. Yeah. So, even if it's about the money, <laughs> music to the pay, <laughs> you understand? So, basically, I've always loved music since I was a kid. So, I've known this is what I actually want to do. And me doing collaborations like that is, basically, we're just, we had dreams, yeah. We were young boys that had dreams. So, we're doing collaborations to be out there. Not like I did collaborations with Superstar. Uh, we started all together, me, Ashake, um, Yemoli, big shout out to everybody doing their thing now. They don't do year words more, mm -hmm. small. You understand? So I just want to live the dream basically. Do my mm -hmm. music, make my legacy, get out of here. Uh -uh. Get out of where? Everybody yeah. will get out of here eventually. <laughs> <laughs> well, eventually. <laughs> but it's about the song. Who, who directed this one? The video. Yeah, the video. His name is Oludu Wave. He's a bad boy. New generation. Man, that's a Gen Z. I want Gen Z. Gen Z I want Gen Z team. But I mean, in general, space. How, how do you think you want to create a, a really strong niche? I mean, the industry is filled with loads of your Gen Zerians, if yeah. I could call you guys that. Yeah. Um, and they're all doing great stuff. Mm. But how would you now describe your sound to create your own niche, have your own following, or, you know, it's just as it comes, you just throw things like, out there? I feel like, big shout out to everybody doing their thing, but I know I'm different. You understand? I know I'm different with the way I put down my vocals, with the way I use my bounce. It's just different. I call my own sound Afro Fusion. You can call it Afro Whisper. Because mm. I don't really sing Afro like I'm singing. Sorry to speak in my You get me? Okay. So yeah. I like call it Afro Whisper. So it's different. But the sky is actually large enough for everybody to fly. Mm. So. so when you're going, is weren't you scared that people might not really be um, familiar with my kind of sound is probably different for you. And they might be like, why is he always singing like he's straining his voice or that's should his style? Should I be scared? When I was going in there, hmm, I thought I would just do one song and blow. That was my whole mindset. You yeah, understand? It's always when, the mindset of anybody yes, coming nah, you understand? <laughs> so I thought I would just do one song and I just blow. But mm -hmm. I started professional in 2018. So I dropped the song and I'm like, ah, I never blew. <laughs> you understand? So I, I just, that's when I actually got to know that okay, I need to actually understand myself, understand my sound, do things differently. And it actually took me about another two years to actually master my own sound. I was releasing music still, though, but it took me like another two years to master my own sound. So at this point, if you like, say you're singing like it's your business, <laughs> you come on board when everything actually works. Mm, nice, nice. Um, any plans? Uh, what's cooking now? I know this has dropped now, and I know the next thing is to want to push this, but what other works do you have in the oven that hasn't, 
probably the letter that's already out there we don't know about yeah. collaborations yeah. and collaborations are actually looking to have or do with other artists who yeah. are these artists yeah currently now i'm working on my extended playlist my ep yeah it's going to consist of five songs mm. and there'll be collaborations so I'm not talking about the collaborations that we want to put on the EPA because we've not decided how that is going to go yet. Yeah. But speaking about artists that I would love to work with in the nearest future, um, Wizzy for sure, mm -hmm. Machala, mm -hmm. um, Obio, Wandeko, Bonoboy, a lot of them like that. Um, mm. Buju, Rema, Kiss Daniel. Ah, those Mayoko. are your people. Mm -hmm. Gen thing. Mm -hmm. But you know, there's this thing, that a lot of people, <coughs> a lot, well, some throwback artists or artists that have been in the game say um, that it's a bit easier for you, Gen Z, mm -hmm. because, I mean, you have the social media. Yeah. Back then, they didn't have the social media. They feel like it's a, it's a kind of lazy generation to make music now. That's, that's fact. No, yeah, no, not lazy that, generation to make yeah, music. Why, easier. why they turned lazy is mm. you don't want to put in the work to get people to actually listen and, you know, because then they had, they had to carry their CDs, their, you know, this, to different so places different, physically okay. to give them, please, take, put, listen, you know, going from station to station. But you when you just release this, boom, internet, trend, mm. hashtag, people will just start the, you know, challenge and all of that. It yeah. makes it, you know. So how, how do you feel about that perception of your generation? Uh, man, I feel like, even the online that seems easy, yeah, your content actually, it has to be lit. Mm. You understand? If it's lit, that's, if it's not lit, that same online, everybody will scroll and pass. And they won't actually pay attention. True that. You understand? But the fact that it's easier for my generation, I mean, it just makes me want to say thank you to the legends that actually did it before us. Mm. You understand? It's not like, yes, it's normal for African parents to say their kids are lazy. So it's normal for the legends to say we had it easy. But last, last, they, they actually made it happen. They mm -hmm. did all the work. So yeah, big shout out to everybody that actually put Afrobeat on. Oh, that's so touching. You should be a politician. A yeah, try it though. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you know, so you give us more easier and you blow it. You <laughs> say, shout out to them. They paved the way for us. Yeah, <laughs> All right, it's been great having you, though, on the show. Thank you so uh, much. I had for, fun. Uh, hope we have more <coughs> conversations later, hopefully. All right, guys, you heard it from an amazing Afro Whisper artist. That's what's In that. the studio. Uh, now it's still Throwback Thursday. We'll be going on a short break. We'll be talking about culture, heritage, and the importance of putting in the work in order to be appreciated by organizations and bodies and all of that. All right, stick around. We'll be right back.